him that which he requested. Tonight, the Lord will grant me what I'm requesting. I call that number eight, prevailing prayer. Prevailing prayer. He prayed and his prayer prevailed. And he got something. He got what he wanted. Did he succeed? Did Joseph succeed? Did Joshua succeed? Did Jabez succeed? And if we follow after their four steps, will we succeed? Of course, of course. It's like, you know, it's like a law that is there. If you do what they did, then you'll have what they had. And we're going to have it in Jesus' name. I said we'll have it in Jesus' name. I'm sure how many of you wrote something down? Can I see your hand? You wrote something down? God bless you. And then, uh, you know something, when I, when I went to school, I took a lot of notes. If you ask me now, where are those notes? Oh, I said, I don't know. I didn't know I was supposed to keep them. I can't find them. But the good thing is, I'm still using what I learned there. All those notes you have written down, don't throw them away. When you get back home, put them somewhere. Then you wake up in the morning, you say, this is the day the Lord has made. I'll be glad and rejoice in it. I'm on my way to success even today. And you go over those things again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to do one of these things today. And then the following day, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to do one of these things today. And as you're doing them day after day after day, I'll meet you at the top. I said, I'll meet you at the top. Why don't you stand up? We're going to pray like Jabez. We're going to pray like Jesus. The power of prayer. The power of prayer. And I'm going to give you some time, some time to think through on what you've heard. And you're saying, oh Lord, help me. Now life is beginning. Now, I'm going to act this out. I'm going to walk this out. Close your eyes and you tell the Lord, you have the promise of the Lord. I'll never leave you. I'll never forsake you. And the Lord wants to really bless you in your life. Then you are not going to care for persecution, for problem, whatever it is. You are going to persevere in godliness, in partnership with the Almighty God. Tell the Lord, oh Lord, I'm going to be with you. I'm going to just stay with you. Whatever problem, whatever challenge, I'm not going to allow anything to run me down. Anything to discourage me. Anything to paralyze action in my life. I'm moving on. I'm moving on. Nothing is stopping me. And in purity, by the grace of God, temptations will come. But to say, Lord, I need your grace. I want to stand in your grace. Abide in your grace. So that, Lord, whatever the challenge and whatever the temptation, I'm going to keep that purity by the grace of God. Perseverance in goodness. Perseverance in goodness. They may pay you back a bad coin when you try to do good. Don't allow that to stop you. Keep on doing that good thing. Keep on. Perseverance in goodness. Don't get discouraged. Don't give it up. Don't say this is too much. The heat is too much. I can't do good again. Don't say that perseverance in goodness and the pursuit of your goal you keep on pursuing this one thing i do this one thing i do courage of joshua companionship with like people of like-minded faith communion with god Confession. Any sin there? Confession. Any guilt? Confession. Cleansing. Purging with the blood of the Lamb. A clean life. A clean, clear conscience. Confidence in God. Confidence in the promises of God. Lord, I believe. Lord, I believe. Commitment. Commitment to the obedience of the word of God. Continue. Jesus said, continue. Continue. Don't give up. Continue. 
those who stop midway they never succeed a little hurt they stop a little pressure they stop a little challenge they stop a little misunderstanding they stop those people never succeed those who succeed are the people that continue continue stand with Jabez personal prayer positive prayer prayer for personal progress peculiar partnership and you don't want to allow anything to come between you and the almighty god peculiar partnership pray for permanent protection lord protect me i want to be in that place i want to do what you've called me to do i want to achieve what you have ordained for me to achieve and then purposeful preservation preserved for a purpose lord accomplish it in my life believe and it's done it cannot fail his promises are yes and amen he will not fail prevailing prayer In Jesus' name we pray. Pentecostal, amen. In Jesus' name we pray. This is good. Praise the Lord. You know, if you just put your hand in the hand of Jesus, and he holds your hand, the Lord will take you to the, no matter how high that mountain, no matter how challenging that situation may be. If you put your hand in the hand of Jesus, he'll take you to where you ought to be. Amen. I said he'll take you there. Amen. And then you never withdraw that hand away from the Lord. Just say, Lord, I commit my life into your hand. I give myself completely unto you whatever sin whatever iniquity whatever evil i've done in the past lord take care of it forgive me there's forgiveness for you here tonight i said there's forgiveness for you here tonight heads bowed and eyes closed right now you give you're putting your hand in the hand of jesus where are you i want to see you you're putting your hand in the hand of jesus you're saying lord take my hand I decide to follow Jesus. And you're going to lead me on until I get to the top of that mountain. Where are you? Raise it up very well. Thank you very much. God bless you. And then if there's any sin in your life, you'll confess it and forsake it. You're starting a new journey with Christ today. You're raising up your hand. Praise the Lord. This is wonderful. Now those who are raising up their hands, I'd like to see you here and pray with you. There's a special prayer I'm going to pray with you now. You're raising up your hand. Come on here. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. God bless you. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm, God bless you. Keep on coming. Keep on coming. You're putting your hand in the hand of Jesus. And saying, Lord, hold my hand. Any sin I've committed, just forgive me. There's forgiveness for you here tonight. There's cleansing for you here tonight. As you put your hand in the hand of Jesus. Lord, lead me on. Lord, lead me on. Lord, lead me on. A new journey is beginning today. New life is beginning today. The past will be cleansed. And all the, all the bottlenecks and all the all the things that will tie you down because of your guilt because of the condemnation the lord is going to take everything away tonight where are you keep on coming thank you very keep on coming keep on coming the lord is doing something in your heart right now and you're telling the lord i put my hand in the savior's hand i put my hand in the master's hand he knows the way he knows the way and he's going to take you there just put your hand in the hand of jesus and now a great journey a wonderful journey is starting here tonight god bless you i welcome you into the kingdom of god in jesus name
I want to tell you that something is taking place in your heart right now. And thank you. God bless you young people and older people. God bless every one of you. Tonight we're going to pray. And this is a special prayer. Every sin you ever committed in your life, the Lord will forgive everything. Jesus died for you on the cross of Calvary. And from this night, nothing will stop your onward journey. Can I have a good amen? A confident amen? An amen that Satan cannot contradict. Raise up those hands and, and say, Lord, I'm giving my heart to you right now. Father, in the name of Jesus. I thank you for these, my brothers, sisters, young and old, who have come to put their hands in the hand of Jesus and to surrender their hearts unto the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, I pray, forgive all their sins of the past in Jesus' name. I pray that the Spirit of God will be a testimony in their hearts. Their sins are forgiven. Their lives are transformed. Lord, take hold of their hands. And move them on to victory and success in Jesus' name. I pray, Lord, all these, my brothers and sisters, I'll see them at the top. Nothing will get them back. They'll continue now in permanent fellowship, partnership with the Lord in Jesus' name. I thank you, Lord, because I know it is done. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now in London, what do you do when you are happy? Put your hands together for Jesus. Amen. God bless every one of you. Don't go yet, don't go yet before the before Pastor Sunday comes. Uh, you know, and then when Pastor Sunday comes, sunshine comes upon you. Now, before he comes, I'm going to pray for your sake. You're not going to carry your sickness away. And then you have any challenge in your family, your personal life, your business life. I'm telling you that victory and success has started today. Yeah. And uh, all those of you that came out now, I, you know, I, I come here once in a while. And I want to see you the next time I come. And if you are not coming regularly, you may not know. They'll say, he has come and he has gone. But I'll see you when I come again. Yeah. I said, I'll see you when I come again. Yeah. Praise the Lord. I just like to see your beautiful faces again. Now, we're going to pray. And every sickness, every affliction, the Lord is going to take everything away. You raise up your hand. You lay the other hand where you're having the problem. And the devil will be put to shame in your life. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray, Lord, you break every yoke. You destroy the works of the devil. Every sickness with every pain, I command you, come out in Jesus' name. All those attacks and afflictions in the night and in the day, I come against you right now. I plead the blood of Jesus upon all these people. Oh Lord, I pray, destroy the works of the devil in Jesus' name. Heal your people, oh Lord. And I pray that you deliver them from every attack, every affliction in Jesus' name. I pray that right now you confirm their healing. You confirm their deliverance. And then I pray you move them on to success and to victory and to all the achievement of what they desire in Jesus' name. Confirm it, O Lord. And I know it is done. I affirm it is done. I rejoice with your people. It is done. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. I am blessed. I said, praise the Lord, I am healed. Praise the Lord, I'm delivered. Praise the Lord, God has answered our prayer. You'll never be the same again. Thank you, and God bless you.